internet. Out of focus OJ here. I've got a little video here. Uh, just recorded the show with uh, John Rambo and we mentioned um, that I basically spent all my money at PAX East 2012. So, thought it might be uh, moderately interesting for you guys to see exactly what it is I bought. So, the big things. One of my friends recommended that I purchase this here t-shirt from the Behemoth Software folks, Castle Crasher shirt. Yep, y'all know I wear an extra large now. They just saw it and said, this looks like you. So, I went ahead and I bought it. And honestly, I like the color, I like the character, it's pretty cute. And no, that's not the green fart knight, okay? I don't want to be that guy. So, what else did I buy at the Penny Arcade Expo this year? Besides a nail clipper, which I have to go use once this video is over. As long as we're in the subject of clothing here, I purchased a replacement Horatio Acting Troop shirt. At least I think that's the acronym. I've got to go double check. Um, from the Mega64 folks. Very nice. Um, I love their work. And... Uh, it's always a blast to get to see them at PAX because they hang out on the west coast over in San Diego. So, it's always a rare treat to get to see them. Now, Paul and Storm, a very funny pair of comedi comedians who do music and comedy, um, have some new shirts. I bought one of their older shirts, but they said this year, well, we, the best way to get your product sold is to have a shirt with your band's name, your logo, on the front and your website on the back. So they have a shirt with the logo, band name, and on the back, the website. Ah, oh, those guys are free. Pretty funny fellows. Now, I didn't just buy useful things because, you know, that's no fun. And we have in my bag of treasures here. I brought back some little souvenirs for some people. Um, maybe I'll keep them all for myself. But someone there was making custom little creeper Legos. Now, I, I saw on Kickstarter they were actually selling um, some sort of creeper that you could get. But these were cute. They weren't terribly expensive, so I figured I'll buy a bunch, keep some for myself, give some to people who were unable to go themselves. I thought that would be nice. Now, there was a little station at one of the game stores where you could gamble. You roll, I think, six dice, and depending on the score you get, you would win a prize. Ranging from one pack of cards to, like, a good portion of a box or something crazy like that. Well, I went through and uh, paid my five dollars before realizing that recording it would be a good idea. And I got for myself four packs for five dollars of magic cards. So I considered that to be a pretty good deal. I also got a, gra a pack of fo two foil cards, but I put those in the other room and I'm not about to go fetch them right now. Didn't get anything super spectacular in there, but hey, foil cards do have pretty art, so I'm happy. At the Behemoth booth, they actually had um, Gachapon machines, which is a machine that puts out some sort of big ball with a toy in it, you know, Sometimes they're as big as something like this. Sometimes they're considerably smaller. And in this case, they had something much smaller, but much cooler. Basically, they put it in an official machine, so you had to pay in yen. And for 300 yen, you could get a little figure. I would have brought some yen, but I forgot it at home. And I had to, you had to pay 5 bucks for 300 yen. Kind of crazy exchange rate. But I got for myself a little knight. Actually, I got a green one. But, uh... <laughs> they ended up, tra I traded with another fellow because I wanted the blue one, he wanted the green one, so I got this cool little blue knight here from Castle Crashers. Now, as long as we're continuing on my journey of financial failure, we have a ridiculous purchase. I went to the Chessex booth. No, it's not about game pieces doing each other. Chessex makes dice, and at the Chessex booth, I bought three sets of square dice. So 
So 36 dice in total. Blue, my favorite color. Green, because it's like blue, and I just thought the purple looked really cool in the light. I also, because I thought they were really funny, bought some dice with words on them. It just struck me as amusing that they existed. And these I actually bought for a friend of mine. Um, these symbols were used by the MS Paint Adventures Homestuck comic for the troll characters. Each troll had a particular one of these symbols for themselves. And there were 12 of them, so the D12s were rather appropriate. The guy actually didn't know why people started buying them like crazy recently. But now, the word is out, I let him know. And perhaps he's going to check out that webcomic. It's actually quite entertaining. Um, a few more things in here. This is the Proto Men's first act of their rock opera based on Mega Man, signed by all nine of them. Some in darker pen than others. A little hard to read here. Very, very nice music, by the way. Seeing them in concert is amazing. Um, then there's their second album, or second act, Father of Death. The best concert ever, Jonathan Colton CD and DVD, with some performances by Paul and Storm and others. And the Mega 64 con exclusive DVD for 2012. Now, there's a little bit more in here. Uh, I've got, uh, I haven't unpacked since I got home yet because I wanted to unpack for you guys. I know, I know. Egotistical, but whatever. That's just the way it has to go. And we have in here some stuff I purchased for a D&D campaign I'm in where I'm playing a rather strange shaman. So I went to the Reaper Minis booth, and I got this little doctor fellow, and some little figures for my familiar. Because, you know, that's what shamans get, familiars. Very exciting. Now there's two more things that I should have in here somewhere, which I believe I have placed somewhere else. And here it is. One more thing it was. My mistake. Um, Paul and Storm, who I first heard about at PAX last year, released a USB thumb drive with all of their music on it up to date. This year they've updated it. So, see here? There's Paul with the guitar and Storm. No, no, no. Got it backwards again. Or did I? Oh, I keep forgetting which one is which. My bad. But... It's very nice. It's four gigabytes, powered by an infinite improbability drive, and contains all the things. If there's one thing they've learned, is that we get a kick out of memes if we're going to game conventions. Now, one neat little bonus, though, um, is that they always give you a swag bag of free stuff at these conventions, and this year they gave a rather amazing one for Magic, Magic the Gathering, so Wizards of the Coast paid for this. And, uh, it's pretty sweet looking. The material is actually somewhat sturdy. Um, it's not that weak. I could see this being used in the future. The straps are a little unpleasant though. And if you have never made it to one of these conventions, there's the program for the convention itself. This year they gave us a drider cutout that you can assemble. All sorts of coupons and things. One month of Xbox Live. Useful for those of you Mass Effect 3 players. Ads for games and stuff. Coupons for things. Um, we got from Food Fight. I don't know, I want to call him General Donut, but I don't remember his real name. Advertising for the gunner guys and the glasses. So some magic cards. All commons and maybe one or two uncommons. A nice drag Dungeons and Dragons Online dice bag. And a copy of Rift. So for free stuff, I think that's pretty cool. And at another booth, I bought a set of Dungeons and Dragons of dice for Dungeons and Dragons because by golly, I'm a nerd. But I like the black and white color scheme. One last thing I want to point out to you guys. 
at the Capcom booth, they uh, had basically tell your story about Street Fighter for the 25th anniversary video, and uh, they'll give you something. And this is what they gave us. This cool little box. What could be inside? I know, but I'm not telling. You're going to find out. I have kept this sealed for you. Uh, I spoke a little bit about Rambo's experiences with Street Fighter and getting to follow Rambo to Japan for a Street Fighter tournament and how fun it was going with him to arcades in our youth when they were much more plentiful. Playing games, just the attitude of the uh, players you find at the arcades and whatnot, what it was like putting your coin up on the machine. And inside is a pair of Capcom speakers. No battery power. They run just off of what comes through the wire, but I'm guessing these are going to be a little bit louder than your average headphone. So, yes. That was basically everything I picked up at the convention this year. It was a lot of fun. Ooh, the plastic smells rather strongly. Not bad. It smells like that fresh game smell. You know what I'm talking about. But that's what I've gotten through. Um, thank you all for watching. The convention was a blast. I met some cool people there. And I hope to see you guys next year.